is a lovely sunny day. Rebecca and Richard Rabbit have come to play with Pepper and George. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer, please? Sorry, Pepper. I need to do my work today. Oh. Why don't you go and play in your room instead? But we don't know what games to play. Oh, there's lots of games you can play. You could have a tea party or do a jigsaw puzzle. We've already played with those things, Mummy. What about your marble run? You haven't played with that for ages. Marble run! Pepper and George <laughs> love their marble run. What does it do? You pick a marble and you put it in here. And it goes timble tumble all the way down to the bottom. Ooh. I'll show you. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> again, again! again. Bye-bye, Mummy. You can go and do your work now. Oh, thank you, Pepper. Have fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Rebecca. You take this marble and you... Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! And then you can add some more bits to the marble run. Let's make it the biggest marble run ever! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Let's add this wiggly bit. And a windmill bit. The marble will make it go round and round. Do you want to have a go, George? <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's going down the windmill bit. And the wiggly bit. And there. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> let's add more bits. Yes, let's make the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> wow! That looks good, Rebecca. Now it's Richard's turn. Marble run! Richard has lots of marbles. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Look at all the marbles going everywhere! <laughs> I thought I heard your marble run, Pepper. Can I join in? Yes, Daddy. Oh, goody. Let's make it bigger. Daddy Pig loves building the marble run. Ah. Oh. There are no more bits of marble run left in the box. Oh! Never mind. We can use other things. Like this jigsaw. And this doll's house. We want it even bigger, Daddy. I'll go and see if there's anything in the office we could use. Aha! <laughs> Look, Daddy, we've added some more bits and bobs. Very good. And I've found these tubes to make a tunnel. Wow, the marble will go all around the room. This is the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh, can I go first? OK, Daddy, you have to put the marble in there. Ready, steady, go! The marble is going all around the room. Ooh! It's going all around the world. <laughs> there it goes. Dinosaur! <laughs> Where's it going now? The marble has rolled out of the bedroom, down the stairs, through the hallway and into the front room. <laughs> is a marble run. <laughs> it's bouncing everywhere. Ah, Goldie the fish. Whew. Got you. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> what was all that noise? It was the noise of the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. They have made a bit of a mess. <laughs> My goodness, what a mess. Oh, sometimes, Pepper, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm, why do children get told off? Grown-ups don't get told off. Ho, ho, ho. That's one of the very few good things about being a grown-up. There, lovely and tidy. Right, I'm off to the shops. 
Can George and me come too? Okay. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa, why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh! What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh! There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. Daddy, is a parking ticket like being told off? Uh, yes, Peppa. It's like being told off. Mummy, Mummy, Daddy got a ticket. That's nice. What did he get a ticket for? The cinema or the circus or... I got a parking ticket. Oh, well, hopefully it was just a mistake. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look! It's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine, nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> And even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever. There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain and a cheese sky. Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese. <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone! 
this rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. Oh. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a Cheese Mountain. Oh. If Cheese Mountains existed... <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cheese Aeroplanes. Wow! Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have! Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow. wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes. Up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun! <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese! I can see the whole world, and it's all cheese! Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! yes! Told you it would be the most fun ever! <laughs> Mandy Mouse, lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Oh, right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> now for some decently strong cheese. Ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm! It's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake! Happy birthday, Mandy! This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig's birthday! Pepper and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. <laughs> Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party! You know, it's not really a party, Pepper. What do you mean? It's just a nice, quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Pepper, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> Have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Peppa. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. 
I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat. It's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes. Because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Peppa, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable soak. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a mussel cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish... Uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish. And for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy birthday, Grandpa Big! Blow out the candles, Grandpa. <gasps> Hooray! Birthday party music, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is such fun. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. To me, George. Throw to me. <laughs> Mr. Labrador is here in his new ice cream van. Ice cream! Hooray! Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Hello, Mrs. Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr. Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? Uh, I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Ooh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. What do you want, George? Ice cream! <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, lovely. Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then. Can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> hmm, maybe I've tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes. We used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. Ruff. Up aboard now. Take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Pepper. <laughs> 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 
Right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! <laughs> Let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt. And wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Peppa. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Ice cream! Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me and I think it might be ready. Did it work? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. It's the best ice cream in the world. Yum, yum. Granny, can all my friends come for ice cream? Of course they can, Pepper. Ho, ho. In that case, we'll need to make a lot more ice cream. Hooray! Hooray! Ice cream! The best ice cream in the world! All of Peppa's friends are here for ice cream. Hooray! Can I have banana? Can we have raspberry? Can I have blueberry, please? Here you go! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peppa! Mm. That's delicious! Have you got carrot flavour? Oh, I don't think so. Yes, we do. Made with carrots from my very own garden. Mmm! Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love ice cream. We all love ice cream, Mr Labrador. Yes, but I really love ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the museum. This way, children, follow me. Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes. yes. Good. Then you know that in a museum you can look but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today, we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy! Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow! Now it's easy! <gasps> My goodness! How does that work? Well, it's a... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes, that's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look! A tube! Hello! Susie Sheep here! Oh, where are you? I am here! Where? I can't see you! Let's find the end of the tube! <laughs> here I am! <laughs> Hello! Susie Sheep here! Amazing! Oh, maybe in the future this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? <laughs> magic balloons! Get your magic balloons here! Are they really magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please! All we need to do is rub it like this, and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic. But static. How does it work? No idea. Fred 
Protons are said to have a charge of plus one electron unit, while electrons have a charge of minus one. Which explains static. What was that bang? Hello, children! Here is Grumpy Rabbit. Now it's time for some dangerous science. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. There is a responsible adult in charge. Me. Who wants to ride in this rocket? Me! me, me, me. Pepper, kindly jump in. Um, are you sure this is completely safe? Of course it's safe. Now, Pepper, put your hands against mine. On the count of three, push. One, two, three, push. Wow, I'm moving. Yes, that's called propulsion. Ah. But real rockets use rocket fuel to blast off. Who wants to fly in this rocket? Me, 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 me! It has to be someone small. There's not much room inside. I'm small! Perfect! In you get, Edmund! And uh, this is completely safe for children, too? Yes, the rocket just flies itself. No, I meant. Off you go! Oh my goodness! Woohoo! Lucky the museum has a high ceiling! <laughs> and that is how rocket propulsion works. That was fun! It was brilliant! It was, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> Pepper loves the science museum. Everyone loves the science museum. Festival. Pepper is going to a children's festival. Daddy, what is a festival? It's a big outdoor party with lots to see and do. I just hope it doesn't rain, otherwise it can get a bit muddy. Don't worry, it won't be muddy. Oh, I like mud. This is the Children's Festival. Wow! wow. <laughs> Welcome to the festival! At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Isn't this great? It's brilliant. There's so much going on. What shall we do first? We've got making things, sand castles, storytelling. Yes, I like stories. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> This is the story tent. All of Peppa's <laughs> friends are here. Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. We must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just a story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Oh, oh. I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, today, we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden days hat? How about a dragon? Me! Me! All the children are making dragons. <laughs> wow, those dragons are good. Almost like the real thing. Dragons are not real. They are mythical creatures. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! 
camping! Great! <laughs> this is the camping area. Hello! Hello, Peppa! Are you camping too? We're not camping, we're glamping. What's glamping? It's like camping, but with lots of home comforts. We've got a bathroom with a basin and a bath and a toilet. <laughs> and we've got a living room. And a TV! Wow. wow! Glamping looks great! Daddy, are we glamping? No, we have our own little tent. Hopefully it's not too difficult to put up. It shouldn't be a problem. After all, I am a qualified structural engineer. Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Hooray! Are you enjoying the festival? It's brilliant! Yes, and it's lucky it hasn't rained. Too right. When it rains, this field just becomes mud. We like mud. But mud and camping don't go so well together. Ho, ho! It's not going to rain. Night, night, everyone. Night, night. night. Pepper and her family are sleeping in their little tent at the children's festival. Oh dear, it is starting to rain. Land. Pepper and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato. Me too. Super Potato is the best. Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. please. OK, let's go to TV land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Hello there. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes. Very good. Follow me. <laughs> Look, it's a potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. ...sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us, us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. 
OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Nummy Pig. <laughs> and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course. Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. The Petting Farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello! Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands! That's right! <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly! <laughs> I love bubbles! And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> What kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. Here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> here, Chicky Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me. me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, swabbly, swabbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Ah, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs>
Now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <coughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. The potatoes, fruit and vegetable quiz. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. It is good to eat five fruit and vegetables every day. Children, Mr Potato has come to find out how much we all know about fruit and vegetables. We know everything about fruit and vegetables. And I know everything about carrots. Good, because today we are going to have a fruit and vegetable quiz. Ooh. What is a quiz? A quiz is where I ask you a question, and if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. Ah! We will need two teams. Peppa, Rebecca and Pedro will be on one team. Susie, Danny and Mandy will be on the other team. <laughs> Let's begin. Our first question is, which of these is not a vegetable? Lettuce, radish, celery, or a car? <laughs> A car is not a vegetable. That is right. Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right. Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. What is a strawberry? Fruit or vegetable? A strawberry is a fruit. Yes! A watermelon. Fruit or vegetable? A watermelon is a fruit. Yes. A cabbage, fruit or vegetable? A cabbage is a vegetable. Yes. A tomato, fruit or vegetable? Vegetable. Fruit. A tomato is a vegetable, not a fruit. No. A tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable. Would you like to call a friend? Yes, please. Call a friend. Tell me, which of your friends might know the answer? Edmund Elephant. Then let's telephone Edmund the Elephant. Hooray! It's for you. Hello? Hello, Edmund. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Some people think a tomato is a fruit because it has seeds. But in the 19th century, the Port Authority of New York classified tomatoes as vegetables, which were subject to a 10% import tax. So I will say you are both right. Hooray! Well done, Edmund the Elephant. Are you ready for the last question of the quiz? Yes! I hope it's a question about carrots. Rebecca, you always talk about carrots. I like carrots. <laughs> Name that vegetable. Name that vegetable. I will describe a vegetable and you will tell me what it is. I am orange and I grow in the ground. What am I? Uh... Rebecca, what's your favourite vegetable? Uh, a carrot? That's right! A carrot! Hooray! <laughs> Both teams win the fruit and vegetable quiz! We win! Hooray! <laughs> Everybody wins with fruit and vegetables? Detective Potato 
Pepper and George are watching Detective Potato on TV. Help me, Detective Potato. I cannot find my bicycle. Aha! This is your bicycle. Uh, no, it is not. Then this is your bicycle. Yes, it is. Thank you, Detective Potato. <laughs> Detective Potato is great at solving mysteries. He's the best detective in the world. Right, that's enough potato for today. We're going to the shopping centre. Oh, goody! I love the shopping centre. What are we going to buy at the shops? A big bag of gravel. I'm trying out a new concrete mix idea. Oh. This is the shopping centre. First, Daddy Pig has to find somewhere to park. Hmm, this floor is full. So where do we park, Daddy? Don't worry, there are lots of other floors. Oh, this floor is full too. Oh, <laughs> up we go. Everywhere looks the same. Yes, that's why you must always remember what floor you park your car on, so you can find your car again. I don't believe it. Not a single space. There's a space. Brilliant. Well done, Pepper. The car is parked. Now we take the lift to the shops. What button do we press? Let's see. Are the shops on floor six or floor three? Here we go. Floor five for the shops. Here is Miss Rabbit's gravel shop. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. One bag of gravel, please. Help yourself. It's heavy, so I hope you don't have far to go. Oh, oh, I only have to carry it to the car. <laughs> My goodness, that is a bit heavy. I hope you find your car. I'm always losing my car in that huge car park. <sighs> what button do I press, Daddy? Just press the number of the floor we parked on. So, what floor do we park on? Uh, good question. Let's try level six. Where is our car, Daddy? It doesn't seem to be here. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has lost the car. Uh, let's try another floor. This is fun! Pepper likes going up uh. and down in the lift. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Here are Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Is there anything we can help you with? Daddy has lost our car. Well, it's not really lost. I've just forgotten exactly where I parked it. A lost car in a place of hundreds of cars where everywhere looks the same. This will be a very hard mystery to solve. Name, please. Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig. Address? Can't we just look for the car? <laughs> I'm afraid not. This will take time to solve. It's not like on the television where they solve mysteries in a flash. <laughs> Detective Potato! At your service. Detective Potato? Daddy lost our car. Aha! That is a mystery only I can solve. Thank you, but we don't need any help. We have the situation under control. Quiet, please. I need silence to work. This is your car. Uh, no. This is your car. Nope. This is your car. Yes, that is our car. Detective Potato has solved the mystery. Hooray! Oh, well done. That was amazing. Oh, ho, ho. it's all in a day's work for a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas at the hospital. It is Christmas Day. <laughs> Pepper and her family are opening their presents. Ah, yes. Socks. Just what I always wanted. Oh, I've got socks too. Lovely. I wonder if you've got socks, Peppa. Uh, I hope not. Hooray! A toy car! Vroom, vroom. <coughs> Don't be sad if it's socks, George. Airplane! Yeah. 
<laughs> what a fantastic Christmas. Yes. All I want to do now is sit back and do nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> Peppa, George, careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My arm! Oh, dear. Peppa has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm. I think we should call Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Peppa, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? Ugh, that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I've got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke, to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the X-ray. Ooh, what's the X-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ooh! The X-ray shows your arm will be fine, Peppa. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Look, I got a sticker. That's nice. Oh, Pedro, you look sad. I'm sad because Father Christmas hasn't been. What? Haven't you got your Christmas present? No, not yet. Right, who's next? Ah, oh, good. At last. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> Christmas. Father Christmas! Yes, he's much more important than me. <gasps> Father Christmas! Sit yourself down, Mr Christmas, and tell me where it hurts. Oh, no. I'm not here because I'm ill. I'm here with Pedro's Christmas present. Thank you. I wonder what it is. Hopefully it's not socks. Hooray! A toy boat! Sorry I'm a bit late, but I got my tummy stuck in a chimney. Those chimneys get smaller every year. Oh dear. Tummy stuck in a chimney? Maybe I should just give you a quick checkup. Open wide. Say ho, ho, ho for me, please. Ho, ho, ho! Good. You're fine. Have a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for looking after everyone at Christmas time. Just doing my job, Father Christmas. Just doing my job. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! <laughs> Hello, Pepper and George. Bye! See you later. Bye! Bye! Bye. Hello, Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Granny Pig is wearing a space suit. Why is Granny dressed as a space person? Oh, Granny is playing another little game with her friends. I'm doing an important historical reenactment. It's about when people first landed on the moon a long time ago. Ooh! Follow me. If you ask me, it's just an excuse to have cups of tea and some cake. System checks complete, Granny. Rocket is ready for blast-off. Wow! A rocket! Yes! It's Grampy Rabbits. He's kindly lent it to us for the day. What excitement! 
I'll just get the rocket ready for its blast off to the moon. <laughs> Granny, are we really going to the moon? No, Peppa. It's just pretend. Ah. We are going to pretend the garden is the moon and do the things they did on the first moon landing. We will plant a flag and we will collect moon rocks. Just be careful of my rockery. Don't worry, Grandpa Pig. We will be very careful. Well, while you play your game, I think I'll make myself useful getting the tea and cakes ready. Have fun. All aboard, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, well, I suppose six, these harmless little garden five, games keep Granny four, happy. Three, two, one. We have lived off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has really taken off. Why does the game have to be so noisy? Grumpy Rabbit, this was just meant to be pretend. Pretend? What would be the fun in that? So, are we really going to the moon? We certainly are. It's a space adventure of a lifetime! If we're really going to the moon, I suppose our reenactment will be even better. Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has landed on the moon. It's one small step for Granny Pig. And one giant leap for Grampy Rabbit! Woohoo! Come on, Pepper and George! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> the moon is very bouncy! Yes, Pepper. We can jump very high on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> These games of grannies. I hope they're not messing up my garden. <laughs> the first people to land on the moon planted a flag to show that they had been there. <laughs> Excellent, George. And they collected rocks. This is a pretty rock. Well done, Pepper. We can take that moon rock home with us. Did Grandpa Pig mention cups of tea for later? Yes. <laughs> I think we've earned it. Let's go home. Three, two, one! Let's go! The rocket is flying back home. My goodness! Granny's garden game is getting even noisier. Grandpa, Grandpa! How did the game go? We went to the moon. Super! It's true. We really did go to the moon. Of course you did, Granny Pig. And we brought you back a moon rock. Lovely. It will sit very nicely in my rockery. <laughs> I love space adventures. Everyone loves... The electric car. Pepper and George are in their bedroom. <laughs> George is playing with his toy car. What is it, George? Car! Car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. Hooray! Daddy's home! <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No. I'm just trying it out. It looks fun. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look! The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. 
Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow, this car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? <laughs> it's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow! wow. I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car! <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car, then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa! What in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving licence. Oh. oh! So, Roger, do you have a driving licence? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye! Bye. Drive safely! Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. Drive, drive, driving along, <laughs> driving while I sing a song. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far, knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh! Where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Pepper. You too. Pepper loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. The electric car. Pepper and George are in their bedroom. Vroom, vroom! Car! George is playing with his toy car. Driving, driving along, driving while I sing a song. Driving, driving along, driving while I sing a song. Oh, the car is broken. <laughs> what is it, George? Car, car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No, I'm just trying it out. It looks funny. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look. The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow, this car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? <laughs> it's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Pepper. 
<laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow! wow. I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car! <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car, then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa! What in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving license. Oh. oh. So, Roger, do you have a driving license? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye. Bye. Drive safely. Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. Good guy, driving along, <laughs> driving while I sing a song. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far. Knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh. Where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Pepper. You too. Pepper loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. Breakfast Club. Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Is it because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to playgroup early because today is breakfast club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at breakfast club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. 
And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Ooh! Caught it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? And me! And me! Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> everyone has caught their toast. Again! Again! Again. No, children. Eat the toast you have first. <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has <laughs> lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> we use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam, toast, toast, toast! Breakfast is... In the future. Peppa is at Susie Sheep's house this evening. Mummy Sheep and Mummy Pig are going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow! In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh! But grown ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun. Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh. <laughs> night, night. Sleep well. Night, night. night. <sighs> Susie. Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. I'm going to the cinema and staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> I'll drive. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes! I'm off to space. <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. Dinosaur girl. <laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <laughs> Very good. Off you go, then. Bye. Bye! What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> what will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> In a big house with fountains and a swing, <laughs> and I will marry Pedro or Danny, and I'll do that too. <laughs>
<laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello. And all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> but who will look after all these children? We will. Bedtime, everybody. Time for your tea. No football in the house. Phew. Phew. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep have arrived back home. Hello. Has everything been OK? Yes, everything's been fine. Hello. Are you two still awake? Yes, Mummy. We've been thinking about the future. It's very tiring being a grown-up. Yes, it is. <sighs> we need to get some rest. Yes, you do. Good night, little ones. Good night, grown-ups. Pepper and Susie need a good night's rest to be ready for the future. Fire station practice. Today is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Pepper. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! 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 ..into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 <laughs> Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady, go! Mummy dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose and Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. Steady, Mummy. Steady. The target is hit and the fire is out. Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes. Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on. OK. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry. It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes. And how do we get super fit? On the fire station obstacle course. This is the fire station obstacle course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go. The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go, go. Woo! Next is the confusing crawling chew. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. <laughs> through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <laughs> And down the yippee zip wire. Yippee! 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 Oh dear, 
Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles to jump in. Grandpa Pig's metal detector. Pepper and George are visiting Grandpa and Granny Pig. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, my little ones. What have you got there, George? Robots! It's a robot called Mr. Robot. Shall I show you how it works? Yes, yes please. please. Mr. Robot can walk all by himself, but you need to use this. It's called a key. Oh. You put the key in here, like this, and turn it. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh, it stopped. The long grass is stopping it from walking. Perhaps you could cut it, Grandpa Pig. Yes, maybe later. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, where's the key? It must have fallen out when Mr. Robot was walking. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'm sure we can find it, can't we, Grandpa? Yes, I have the very thing for finding lost keys in long grass. Now, where is it? The lawnmower is right in front of you, Grandpa Pig. But I'm not looking for the lawnmower. I'm looking for this, my metal detector. Metal detectors are good at finding lost keys. Oh, it's not in the box. Is the metal detector lost as well? I'm afraid so. Oh, dear. Sorry, George. The key is lost forever. <laughs> Who can that be? Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Fox. What can I sell you this morning? I have a solar-powered torch, a wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr Fox. Unless you've got a metal detector. Metal detector? Well, why didn't you say so? Oh, I've got a metal detector right here. Fantastic. It's just like my old one. It's got three settings, finding things, good at finding things, and really good at finding things. Excellent. We'll take it. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Peppa. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Pepper, And that's how you find things, with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here. There. Here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> here. There. There's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> key, key. George wants to find the key. Oh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key. Hooray! <laughs> now we can wind up Mr. Robot. No. George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. Oh! You found it! 
find something really big. It's your old metal detector, Grandpa Pig. It was hidden in the long grass all the time. No. <laughs> Excellent. Now I have two metal detectors. When one gets lost, I can find it with the other. But what if they both get lost? Then I'll cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have been sailing with Granny and Grandpa Pig. All ashore. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I'm rather thirsty. Shall we have a juice in the clubhouse? Yes, please. Ah, uh, the clubhouse is a bit stuffy, Grandpa Pig. <sniffs> Not much fun for Pepper and George. That's all right, Granny. We only want a juice. It is very quiet in the clubhouse. Could we have four fruit juices, please? Do you have a membership card, sir? Of course. Very good, sir. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, <gasps> Grandpa Pig. Good to see you, old bean. Shh. Sorry. What are all these people doing here, Granny? I don't know, Pepper. Mostly sleeping, I think. Oh, what's this? It's a jukebox. <laughs> it plays music. I like music. But it looks like this one hasn't played music in a long time. Four fruit juices. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> a jukebox. Yes, but it's not playing music. It might play music if we put a coin in. Uh, we don't want to disturb anybody. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> there wouldn't be a jukebox here if they didn't want us to play it. I suppose so. Let's choose something quiet. Of course. Coin, please. Thank you. Ooh. Now, where's the rock and roll music? Here we are. Rock and roll. <laughs> this <laughs> is rock and roll music. Come on, George. Rock, Let's rock. go. We're gonna roll, 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 rock and roll. We're gonna rock. What's all this noise? I am so sorry. Yes, here you should be. Disco music is what you want to play. Disco music? I'll show you. Have you got a coin? Of course. Thank you. Here we go. Get ready to groove on down. This is disco music. Move on down to the disco town. What a racket! Why don't you play something good? So, what do you think is good music then? Hip hop! Has anyone got a coin? Grandpa had coins. Okay, here you go. This is hip hop music. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Well, I never. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Mrs. Corby is dancing like a robot. Wow! Look at that. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Is somebody having a party? It is Grampy Rabbit. Excuse me, sir, but are you a member? No, but I'm with him. Uh, hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hi there. I heard music. We found a jukebox. Does he play my kind of music? And what, dare I ask, is your kind of music? Heavy metal, of course. And I suppose you need a coin? Thanks, old chap. Heavy metal music. <laughs> this is the only music to dance to. <laughs> Grampy Rabbit loves dancing to the jukebox. Everybody loves dancing to the jukebox. Botanical Gardens. 
Today, Peppa and George are going to the Botanical Gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh, dear. George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No, our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop the melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow. wow! Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. Uh -oh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. Wow! Come on, George. Whee! Peppa loves all the botanical gardens, especially... The sandcastle. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and George have come to the seaside. <laughs> I'm going to make a sandcastle. <laughs> I want to make a sandcastle too. And me. OK, George and me will show you how. <laughs> Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. 
Now, lift up the bucket. Ta-da! 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 Pepper, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Nay! Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together, like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sandcastle. Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too, with her daddy. That's a good castle. Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sand castle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Ah! Wendy Wolf is using pebbles to make the castle's bobbly bits. And it needs flags. <laughs> Pepper and George are collecting little sticks and some seaweed to make flags. <laughs> it needs windows. <laughs> Pedro is using shells to make windows. There. What a fantastic sandcastle. Let's add a moat. What's a moat? You'll see. We dig the moat all around outside the wall. Good idea. Everyone help dig. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to fill the moat with water. Let's get water from the sea. <laughs> 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 the moat is full of water. The castle's finished! Hooray! I wish it could be my home and I could live in it. <laughs> You're too big to live in a sandcastle, Pepper. Here is Mr Crab. He's come to take a look at the castle. Hello, Mr Crab. Do you have a home to live in? Oh, he looks sad. <coughs> I don't think Mr Crab has a home. He can live in our castle. Yes, in you go, Mr Crab. <coughs> oh, but how does he get across the moat? He needs a bridge. <coughs> <laughs> George has found a piece of driftwood. <coughs> George has made a bridge. Mr Crab likes the bridge. But he can't get inside the castle. We just need to make a little door. Mr Crab is the king of the castle. <laughs> it's the best sandcastle in all the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Super Potato Movie. Pepper and George are going to see the Super Potato movie at the cinema. Super Potatoes, get your Super Potatoes here! Ooh, could we get a Super Potato, please, Daddy? Is it made of plastic, Mr Fox? It's better than that. It's made of potato. Made of potato? Yes, it's a potato. Well, in that case, I'll have two, please. Would everyone please take their seats? The film is about to start. Ooh. Now, does anyone need to go to the toilet? No, no Mummy, Mummy Pig. Pig. Good, then let's go in. This is the cinema where the film will be shown. Hello, Rebecca. <coughs> I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs Carrot. Help, save me, Super Potato. <laughs> Super Potato, to the rescue. <laughs> Shush, Peppa. The film is about to start. Super Potato, the movie! Hooray! Far away 
in the land of fruits and vegetables, there is a problem. Help! My foot is stuck. We need a rescue! Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone call my name? Hooray! By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Hooray! Mommy, I need the toilet. Okay, come on then. Sorry, excuse us. Miss Rabbit is in the projector room. Is this the toilet? No, Peppa, this is the projector. What's a projector? It's the machine that shows the film you're watching. See? Oh, yes! There's Super Potato! <laughs> I get to watch Super Potato six times a day. Wow! I wish I was a superhero. You are a superhero to us, Miss Rabbit. You do all the important jobs. Yes, I have just cleaned the toilets. You'll find them down the corridor on your left. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hurry up. Mrs Carrot's about to be rescued again. Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone say my name? I am on my way. Hooray! What's happening now? Mrs. Carrot got stuck in the mud. By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Yay! I want to be a super potato when I grow up. Here comes the song bit. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am actually here! Hooray! Did you enjoy the movie, children? Yes! yes! Show us how you fly! How do I fly? Like this! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema roof. Help! Call for Super Potato! That is Super Potato! Quick, call for Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Did someone call my name? Help! Oh! I'm on my way! Yay! Help! Help! Miss Rabbit to the rescue! Help! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has rescued Super Potato! Wow! Oof! When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Looking for things! Pepper and her family are in the kitchen. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready yet, Mummy? No, Pepper. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh okay. okay. What do we do now? Well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We'll find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Can't write with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with the train. Oh. Look, a crayon. <laughs> Daddy can write with this. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with. Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah! Can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. 
A square? Yes. There must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? George has found a clock. Hmm. That's a circle. Oh. We need to find a square. That picture is a square. <laughs> Very good. You found a square. Hooray! What should we look for now? Now you must find something that makes a squeaky noise. Something that makes a squeaky noise. Try looking in the bathroom. OK. <laughs> Look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. <coughs> Towels are very quiet. Oh. Squeaky, the rubber duck. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Oh, oh, excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There is nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm, have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa! George! Mummy, Mummy! We've been looking for things! Oh, I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball! Round and flat on top. A bit like a hat. A hat! And it tastes yummy. The apple pie! Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Yay! I love looking for things. And I love finding things, especially when it's apple, apple pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> Roman day. Pepper and George are at <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. They are painting pictures of Polly Parrot. <laughs> My goodness! What lovely paintings, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my pretty picture, Polly. <laughs> pretty picture, Polly? <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. <laughs> I'll put them up here for Granny Pig to see when she gets home. But where is Granny Pig? Oh, she's just out playing with her friends. <laughs> here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's historical reenactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <laughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> Now what do we do? We march around saying Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means anyone for another cup of tea. No. <laughs> it means I came, I saw, I conquered. Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did 
they? Yes. They used colored pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some colored pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. <laughs> and I will find blue pebbles and make a lovely sky. Pepper and George are making a Roman mosaic of a dinosaur. George adds some green pebbles. <laughs> Pepper adds some blue pebbles. George, the red ones can be the eyes. <laughs> Finished! Well done, Pepper and George. My word, you've got rather muddy. Time for a bath before Mummy and Daddy Pig come to pick you up. No! Oh dear, George does not want to have a bath. But George, the Romans were very good at having baths. And you're a Roman, aren't you? Yes, George. Let's have a Roman bath. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a Roman bath. <laughs> it's Mummy and Daddy. Here are Mummy and Daddy Pig. Ah, oh, Tempus Fugit. What does that mean? It means time flies. Tempus Fugit. Ah. <laughs> Tempus Fugit! Tempus Fugit! <laughs> Hello! Mummy! Daddy! We've been playing Romans! Tempus Fugit! Ooh. And with these crowns of leaves, you are both Roman emperors! Hooray! Benny Vidi Fugit! <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans! Everybody loves being Romans! Peppa and her family are visiting Cousin Chloe's house for the day. Hello! Hello! Hello, Chloe! <laughs> As it's such a sunny day, we thought we'd have a picnic in the garden. Oh, that would be lovely! Come on, Peppa and George! <laughs> Race you! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good spot for a picnic. Mmm, yes! <laughs> Ooh, look at all the flowers in the grass. Yes, let's pick them. I will pick the buttercups. I will pick the daisies. <laughs> no, George, you need to find your own flower to pick. <laughs> Ooh. George has found some very pretty flowers. George, don't pick the flowers in the flower bed. Only pick the flowers in the grass. <laughs> Chloe is collecting buttercups. Pepper is collecting daisies. George is collecting grass. <laughs> Don't pick grass, George. Pick dandelions, like this one. <laughs> Pepper, George, would you like to see a trick with buttercups? Yes, please. <laughs> George, do you like butter? George does not know if he likes butter. Let me see. Yes, George, you do like butter. <laughs> How can you tell? If I hold a buttercup under George's chin and it shines yellow, that means he likes butter. <gasps> do it to me! Do it to me! Pepper, do you like butter? You do! <laughs> it's true! I do like butter! <laughs> I've got a trick I can do with daisies. Oh, what's that? If I put a daisy under your chin and it shines yellow, then, um, then that means you like cheese. Really? Yes. George, do you like cheese? <laughs> cheese. Yes, George does like cheese. Oh, there's no yellow. Are you sure you like cheese, George? <laughs> I think they are the wrong type of daisies. Oh. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy 
and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain! Wow! wow. Let me try! Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the Daisy Queen, Peppa! Yes! I am the Daisy Queen! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> no, George! I am the Daisy Queen! You need to be something else! Oh! George, you can be a lion! And these dandelions can be your mane! <laughs> George is a dandelion! Oh! George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen, and this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, <laughs> I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Perfect day! Pepper and her family are going to a shopping centre today. That's a big shop. It's not one shop, Pepper. It's lots of shops all under the same roof. Wow! But we're not shopping today. Not shopping at the shops? No. Mummy's here for a perfect day experience. Ooh! This is Miss Rabbit's spa. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for your perfect day experience? Yes, I think so. But what exactly is it? Oh, lots of lovely things. You can have a massage. <clears throat> have your fingernails painted. Or have a herbal face wash. Oh, that all sounds lovely. Do we have to do it too, Daddy? No, Peppa. We can go and find our own perfect day. Oh, goody. Bye, Mummy. See you later. Where are we going to find our perfect day, Daddy? Hmm, I don't know. It's just shops and shops and... Ooh, magic moving stairs. That, Peppa, is an escalator. Can we go on it? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah! You're going, going the wrong, wrong way. way. Pepper and George are back at the bottom, but Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Pepper. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... Peppa! Susie! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Peppa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here. Put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah! Oh! 
I missed it again! <laughs> to a funny face! <laughs> <laughs> and the last one? Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> again, again. I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Mummy, did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Pepper. Did you? Yes. We went up and down the magic stairs and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time. Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end to a perfect day! 